Hi guys, welcome back. This video is going to be, well it's about the XJ basically, but I'm doing the CBR. It should make sense when I get to where I'm going. Currently these are on the CBR. Well this one isn't, but the other one is. And these are the proper ones for the CBR. Off the old CBR out there under the top holder. Uh, basically what I'm doing is taking these off because I've took the wing rack off taking, putting these back on to the CBR and then putting these on the XJ because I've developed another problem with the XJ it seems like the right hand side indicator works fine when you turn it to the left hand side indicator and it flashes rapidly and I believe it's because of the different wattages in the front and the back ball I know this front one's more powerful than the back one with the little chrome ones on the back of the XJ so what I'm going to do is take the little chrome ones off the XJ and attach these to the wing rack because these did come with the old wing rack off the CBR so that's what I'm going to be doing today in this video swapping these over so stay tuned Okay, so as you can already see, we've changed this one, now we've got to change this one, and then we've got to do the wiring. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so these indicators are just held on by one 10mm bolt, 6mm thread. And it very long bolts, very, very long bolts. Very, very long wires, too. So that's that one off. We can put this one back on. And these are the bolts for the that one. And I'm gonna dip them in the grease, put some grease on them. These are eight millimeter bolts with six millimeter threads, I think. And I'll put a big washer on it shows you how some people do things, doesn't it? Let's just twist the wires together and put some tape on it. Yeah. Yeah, just twist them together. And there we are, alright. Yeah, that's how your bike catches on fire rather than this. Thread your wire through the middle of I think. Put the full screw through. Uh, same with the other bolt, put a nice big washer on it. Feed it through the hole if you can find it. Tighten it up with your 8mm socket. There we go, all nice and fixed. Then we just have to feed our wires back through. Now these are bullet connectors. So I'm actually going to extend these and find some bullet connectors what I can join on. And luckily enough I have plenty of spare wire. Let's see if we can find any bullets. Yep, so we found one. 
that too. Three. Found four. Let's put all that lot away. Okay, let's join the wires. What I do is put a bit of shrink wrap on them instead of tape. Sure you don't forget to push it on the wire first. Push it out of the way as well because if it gets hot it'll shrink. I found a green one so let's just put green to green. Put the soldering iron on the wire till it gets hot. There we go. We can find our shrink wrap bit. Push it over the join. Put a bit of heat on it. There we go. One wire done. Okay, so that's the CBR ready with the indicators. So that's the end of this video. It's only been a short one, I know, but uh, you know, I've got to show my face, haven't I? You think I've all gone? Johnny's XJ's fell off the planet. But uh, no, the XJ is out there behind you. Uh, a bit of an update on the XJ, you've still got MOT'd it. As you'll find out next week, 
uh, to buy a 20 pound part for my welder which is down there so that's the MOT set back again on the XJ uh, I took these indicators off this because I'm going to put the wing rack indicators back on that like I say because one side's flashing perfect and the other side is flashing erratically and I believe it's to do with the bulbs one wattage is high on one on the front and the wattage on the back is a smaller bulb so that's what I think it is if not then it must be the uh, flasher unit so anyway it'll look better with those on anyway uh, where the old indicators go into the mud guard, back mud guard, I'll just get some reflectors, orange reflectors to ideals. Hope you enjoyed the little video and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe, share, comment, make sure you comment because it makes it all worthwhile and leave a thumbs up because that pushes my video to the front of the queue. The more thumbs up I get the more viewings it gets from YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Credits. I see you in another life, brother.